So we get um, some theory down about the Tao practice. Um, the major part about the Tao practice is that um, one of quite very old system, and um, I think what they're recording now is way before any religious setup. Okay, so it's a pure practice. When they calm their mind down, when they stay in the cave, when the when the sun down, you're yeah, nothing. Okay, you just sit and calm yourself. And they just feel the energy, that's all. Okay? From that, they started to discover many ways of feeling this force. And the Tao give the name called, we cannot give a name, we call the Wu Qi, nothingness. You cannot give the name. So when they open their eyes, look to the sky, everything is nothing. When they close their eyes, turn inwardly, they feel something there. And uh, later on, when we have more people and we gather together, those people that discover the force, is set up a group. And uh, more people practicing it, so religion started to set up that way. Okay? So a lot of relig- religious have different ways of feeling the force. And that is what um, my real understanding, and that's what the real Tao's understanding. So that's why the Tao said, the Tao's, they have no name. Okay? And you cannot say the name. So, um, so the, um, the most important part of the Tao practice we call the inner, uh, sometimes we call the white magic practice. Or inner alchemy changes. In olden time, they always say the Tao master can change the rock into gold. So a lot of people carry their rock on their shoulder from their hometown and walk many mountains and many mountains to show the sincere. In order to, when you find the Tao master, he put the rock down and say, Oh, master, here's the rock I carry from my hometown. Can you change this rock into gold for me? And the Tao master said, Yes, I can do for you. But I tell you the one thing, when you bring the rock home, it become, bring the gold home, it changed to rock again. Mm-hmm. So I said, oh my God, <laughs> what are you going to do? So the Dharma says, hey, look, listen, I have a better solution. I will teach you how to change the rock into gold for you. Okay? You like that? Say yes. So... The Tao Master teach them how to change the hate into love, how to change the angry into kindness, okay? how to change the stress into life force, and how to return all the energy into more energy. So he go home and make more gold. And that is uh, changing the rock into gold. And that is the first thing. Uh, we need to uh, work on that. We call it the inner smile and the seeking sound. Today we're going to emphasize in getting you how to delete your negative energy that you don't want, the energy that uh, bother you, and how to how f- uh, train yourself how quick and how fast you can change the negative to positive. And this is what, how quick you are. Okay? And you have to feel that this is my energy. I can change them. And this is not because you're afraid you go to hell and you have to do it. Okay? Or you want to go to heaven and you try to do it. So that is a different theory. Okay? And, um, and we always talk about transforming the essence into life force, Jing, Qi, and Sun. The whole team today, tomorrow, and next day, we're going to talk a lot of how to be, because uh, there are research that when we feel love, when we feel compassion, when, when we feel unconditional love, and when we feel arousal orgasm, they're creating uh, eight hertz. And this 
it hurts make the cells make the cells it has make the cell uh, started to the DNA split and come together and creating a new cells so we believe when you under love and the life essence you will split in a very very uh, the cells will repeat uh, split in a very good way and not a sick cells not a bad cell if we understand that this is good for you not because you want to go to heaven you might do it more <laughs> okay something good for you not good for somebody and we've been trained that we have to sacrifice even we have to die for other people. In the Taoism, we like to be have a life hero, but not a dead hero. Okay? Usually, we make a lot of money from the dead hero. You know? okay? We always make money from dead hero. Okay? So that is one team we want to learn. Okay? And um, this is what very important part about uh, we call transforming, uh, return the energy up into the higher center. And we call the turning the water wheel. And we need to, we want to do the exercise, and this exercise will be continued doing for all three days because we want to learn how to. Um, take the water. So we call it turning the water wheel. And uh, we, we're going to see a boy and girl here stepping on the water wheel and moving the energy and try to pump the energy upward up to the higher center. Okay? And that is what we call turning the water wheel. And the in, important part is that the water can always the water, when it passes through the fire, so we believe, so we're going to be set up for you, make sure you get it, is the Tan Tian, the narrow fire. The and okay. So all this fire, we born with it. Nothing, what I, what I try to do for you now today, is nothing I give it to you. It's you already born. Okay. So I don't like to claim that, oh, I'm helping you, making you this and that. No. It's what you already have. I cannot give you something that you don't have. I cannot awaken your spirit if you don't have a spirit. Mm -hmm. I cannot awaken your energy, uh, healing energy if you don't have an energy. I cannot do that. Okay? So some people claim, that, oh, I give you this and give you that. No. Okay. So... There are nothing to claim because uh, you're already born with it. Only that you don't know how to do it in a proper way. Okay? So we want to turn the energy. It's just like a pump. So we're going to work on a pump, pumping system, a pump. Okay? So the pumping system is very, very important. And in the Taoism, always talk about uh, turning the water wheel. And uh, that is involved with turning the, for men, we're going to learn how to turning the testicle and women turning the ovary or contracting and turning the ovary. And the second wheel is the kidney, turn the kidney wheel. And we started to feel the energy go upward. Okay? So in the olden time, they don't have a pump. So they get a boy, and that means easy to get a boy and girl, just pay the money, and you just keep on stepping the water wheel, and you pump the water up. So they have boy and girl stepping on the water wheel. Okay. And this water, when it goes up, it transforms into, pass to the water, uh, fire, it changes into water. So um, you're going to see if you learn higher and higher level, in a thousand, we divide into the nine different levels. So this is the first level. Okay? And uh, all the Tao's talking about if you want to be enlightened, want to be immortal, and it's very simple. If you understand cooking and you understand sex, you can be enlightened. That's it. So nothing mysterious. 
When I learn it, I say, oh, it's very simple. It's everything about cooking <laughs> and everything about when you're going to make love, that's it. And uh, that's all. The, that is esoteric. Okay? So usually if the definition of the religious is magic and sex, that's all. Okay? Magic. So everything about magic, magic. How, how much uh, miracle they do and how you're, going to, how you're going to be interacting or we call reunion with God or oneness with God or oneness with the universe. And, and that is sex. <laughs> so we call magic and sex. Now, the next thing I want you to be aware of is that our world floating in the space. So no matter where you go, no matter where you go, you're going to be connecting in wealth. So every single um, one-tenth of the inch around you, there are forces right on us. There are forces right on us. They're either affecting you or they either go against you. So that's the only two things. Okay? And now how are you going to be the one that go against you? How are you going to make it stronger? And they don't affect you. Okay. So they always have one thing bad and one thing good. This is how the, um, the Tao look at the universe. So they, um, uh, now the West, they study and they have more books coming out now talking about the dark matter and the dark energy. And they discover that before that they have no priority. Yin yang, no priority. They have they have yin yang, but no priority. So they, no matter what they do, they cannot measure them. And now they discover that they can measure it. So that they discover that the whole universe are filled with dark matter and dark energy. And there are many countries now raised, try to build an engine run on this dark matter and dark energy. Okay? There are many of them. And some, some people come up with a theory. Actually, uh, some, one student sent me an article. They said somebody come up with a theory in America. Like they said they can make a dark bomb. And that is uh, terrible. A dark bomb actually is the same theory as a Big Bang. That's all. You use the, the, the dark matter and dark energy. If you can make them a big empty space, so big, so big, so so big, and this dark matter and dark energy bang together so fast, boom, you're creating a nuclear bomb, 70 times more than a nuclear bomb. Okay? I don't know where they're going to bomb who for. <laughs> 70% is very big. You have 70 nuclear bomb explosion at one time. That is, I don't know, <laughs> half, of the, the, half of the world going to be destroyed that way. Okay. So this is the power, and this is the force. They are all around us. So the, the, the number, this is the new number, they said. So uh, the number is that we, the 4%, the material world, the material, actually the material or the atom is only 4%. So we still feel with the whole universe is 90 Six percent. So the whole universe are filled with this force, and the Tao said this is uh, discovered. It. Everybody discovered the same. So we call the chi, and the West we call the God, or whatever prana, whatever they are. Okay. So this is filling with the whole universe ninety six percent. The material we can see is only four percent. That's why at night you look at the sky, it's dark. And that the light you see is only 4%. Including all the living things, it's only 4%. So that's how big the universe are. So um, we are constantly in touch with this force, so we call primordial force. Okay? Primordial force, original force, the force that creating us, creating the whole universe, including all the living things, and including us. So we believe this dark matter and dark energy hold 
the original blueprint of us, hold the original blueprint. So if we connect with them, we started to get the original blueprint. The 4% of the dark matter and the dark energy become the material world. So we're going to be, so this force we call God of Wu Chi or the ultimate stillness access the power from here all the way to every living thing in the world. So if we look from below up again, so we, the earth, we know affecting us. The next one, the moon, very small. Okay, the moon very small. Okay? And we always see the same face of the moon. We don't see the, the other face of the moon because the moon never rotating around itself. But the moon is small, but affecting 70%. In the world surface, 70% is water, and the moon affecting the water. So we, what we have? High tide, low tide, right? Now, in our body, how many percent water? 70% water. So if the moon affecting 70% of the water in the world, what we what we're going to be? We've been affected by the moon, okay? The plants, the sea animal, all the sea animal, laying egg, and the woman menstruation affecting by the moon, okay? So we call moon cycle, okay? So we are affecting so much by this very simple little, little thing, okay? Now if you go out, you have the planets. So we including us, there are nine planets, and we are affecting them by cellular level. We're going to talk about every cell actually are controlled by one planet, and we spin. Every, every, every atom and electron actually affecting by the planet. And that's what, how the olden time they discovered this, and they set it up into the astrology way. The sun and the galaxy, we call a North Star. And from there, so in our galaxy, now they know that we have about 200, 200 billion stars. So, and they know now we have 200 billion galaxies. So if you have 200 billion, multiply 200 billion, what's the number? There's a big number. <laughs> that is about 27 trillion <laughs> It's about trillion number. The only one country in the world have the budget for trillion dollar is American. <laughs> one, one trillion dollar budget, you know. So in the doubt divide that the so the North Star control us. So we're gonna talk about our North Star also. But the North Star and Southern Cross, our axis tilt already, so it's affecting us. Okay. And now, the five element star, that's what the Tao view of the world, is a very big star. Okay? I mean, if you're going to compare how big they are, is that if we put all the planets together, it's still smaller than our sun. But out the North Star, just keep a number. Nobody exactly knows the number. But we believe that the North Star is 100,000 times bigger than our sun. Okay? And we believe the five element star is 100,000 times bigger than our North Star. So, we spin, the, the moon spins around us 28 and a half days. The earth spins around the sun is 300, uh, third, uh, 364 and a half days. But the sun spinning around the ga one galaxy, it takes 280 million years. So one round, one year, is take 218 million years. So the number is very big. So everybody have a different year, okay? Every different, different one round, okay? So, so all these 200 billion galaxies are spinning around the five major stars. And when you go up again, the three pure one, maybe the West you know as the uh, Holy Father, Holy Ghost, and Holy Spirit, Holy, Holy Father, Holy Son, and Holy Ghost. The three pure one. So the three pure one is 100,000 times bigger than the five element star. 
Okay? And all these billion and billion and trillion stars are spinning around the five star, and the five star spinning around the three pure one. And finally, everything spinning around the force. Whatever you're going to give the name, it's okay. So we are working with the same force. That's it. Okay. So, um, and that is the Tao view. And that is my ambition to do it. It's very difficult to tell everybody we are working with the same force. Okay? So we don't have to kill each other and fight each other. Say, my force is better than your force. Okay? My God is more powerful than your God. So, see who have more big, big bomb and big tank and big gun, and their God is more powerful. And we're killing each other for the same, the same force. Okay. So this is uh, one theory. And we believe this one holds our DNA. This force, this force has the power access right to every part of the whole universe. Okay. And when you calm enough and relax enough, you feel the force. And that's why we are going working with it. Okay. And um, in the Taoism, we divide, in this um, universal Tao, we divide in the first level, we have basic, so we have quite a number of basic training, and we have the advanced basic training, and we have the physical part, and we have the, um, the cosmic healing, and we have the higher spiritual part in the uh, lesser carnally, and the greater and greater carnally, and all these things, the higher level, we always uh, it, it started working in a dark room, okay? Because you need to experience the DMT. You need to experience the 5 EMO, the, the body suppression. By building the DMT up, we call it the spiritual molecule, not by draining them out. Because we store this DMT in the brain, for the moment when we're going to die. Okay. So in the Tao we call it separation. 